Good evening YouTube, it's Hannah from Smaugish and I'm coming with you today with my 2017 favourites. I will probably look back at this and think, I forgot something clearly obvious, why didn't I include that, but never mind. Also, I'm just wearing this, this is one of the things I bought in Manchester. How beautiful and sparkly is it? Like, oh. Anyway, so I've tried to include things that aren't just makeup because this could have just been a, an hours long video of me rambling about all the awesome makeup I've used this year, but uh, I thought I'd be a bit more interesting and not include that, so I've got other things here. Some of them probably not so uh, surprising if you do know me um, and do watch my videos or follow me on Instagram or anything like that, um, but other of them, I don't know. So, if you'd like to find out the things that I've loved the most about 2017, uh, then do keep watching. So to get onto it, I am going to start off with makeup because uh, there's a lot of it. First thing I'm going to mention is this foundation. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in 05, which is the lightest shade. And I just really love this. I bought this in the summer and it's just it replaced my mac pro long wear um and i wanted something that was a little bit more natural a little bit lighter as you can see this is pretty light you can still see some of my freckles and stuff through it but i love it um and it's perfect it lasts well it goes on well i normally apply it with a damp sort of beauty blender sponge um but yeah this is definitely one of my favorites i just love it it was such a good purchase and it's a really good match for me which is always a plus. Um, I, I was tempted to also say my Total Drop con Total Control Drop Foundation from NYX, but I haven't had that for very long, so I couldn't include that. But yeah, first makeup favourite. Second makeup favourite is an old favourite, and it's my collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, and I get the shade Fair One. Now, it's sometimes a little bit dark for me, but what I find perfect about this concealer is it's the absolute perfect product to wear when I don't really want to wear makeup. I tend to, I don't wear makeup to work or anything like that, for example. But if there's days where actually I have like a really bad spot or something, or blemish, or it's a weekend or a holiday day and I can't be bothered to put proper full face of makeup on, I'll just dab this under my eyes, especially if I'm ill or have, haven't really slept well, dab this under my eyes and not on any blemishes and it just melts into the skin, blends well and covers. So yeah, I can understand why for a time every YouTuber ever was raving about this, but that is definitely something that I have fallen back in love with this year. So that's my... Second favourite. Let's stick with facey, basey things. You all knew this was coming. My Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Powder Foundation in Light 42. Um, I've hit pan on this baby. I've got my backup already in my drawer. I bought it in the summer before I went away on holiday to Florida because I wanted to take a base with me that I wouldn't have to worry about sweating off and feeling hot about and so the girl at the counter agreed that the powder foundation was the way to go. I apply it more, most of the time using a dry beauty blender sponge and it's just amazing and even if I just use it over the top of my other foundation um, it just adds a little bit of extra coverage and it mattifies and I can actually find it looking incredibly cakey. So yeah, and I, I can use it with a brush if I want something a little le less intense, but I also use it with the Beauty Blender and I can use it as a foundation by itself as well. So yeah, I love this product. I do have the Locket Tattoo Foundation as well, but it's not my favorite and I am gonna use it up, but it, I find it quite hard to use because it is so thick and it dries down so quickly. So on like a night out, I will probably wear it when I go out tomorrow night for New Year's Eve. Um, but yeah, I don't like it as an everyday foundation, but the powder foundation I absolutely love. Okay, so this next thing is just a general thing, but 2017 was the year I discovered or fell in love with highlight and these are two of my favorites like specifically favorites in this year there's of course the Kat Von D Alchemist palette um her holographic palette which I like for using as 
eyeshadows as well as highlighter. Um, I've also dabbed it on top of a dark lipstick and that looks amazing. But the four shades in here, there's a pink, a purple, a green and a blue, sort of shifted shades. Um, and they're just gorgeous and it's such a nice palette as well. Um, I just I just love it. It has so many different uses. The second highlighter I particularly like is the Ghost Lights by Makeup Revolution. I've only had this one for about four months or so. Um, but it's amazing. It's a pinky, pinky toned shade and it's got a skull embossed in it and it's just beautiful and it's perfect for paler skin tones. So highlight, yeah, 2017 is the year that Hannah discovered highlight. Keeping it sort of facey makeup, um, 2017 is the year that Hannah really found her contour groove. Like, I know, so I have to mention the NYX Nude Matte Shades shadows, especially this shade Bare My Soul, which is like my everyday contour, but also this Makeup Revolution Ghost Sculpt, which I bought at Halloween 2016, um, and I've used it so many times. Not really this side, um, but the grey side is great for when I want to do slightly more intense contour, so yeah, other favourite. Um, just because these are the next things I picked up. I have to mention these because I have used them so much and I used to take them with me to my exes pretty much every weekend. I'd, sometimes I'd take them both, other times I'd alternate. And it's the Makeup Revolution, the Dead or Alive palette and the Neutrals versus Neutrals palette. So Dead or Alive, I'll just quickly show you, is, I'm sure you know it, but it's the kind of like dark, again it was from the Halloween collection 2016, but it's sort of darky shadows. Um, and I especially like wearing the two white ones um, and then the black one in this shadow together and then this one I'm sure you know is like their dupe of, I can't remember what brand it's a dupe of but it's their sort of uh, neutrals and sort of pinky tones up here and then more traditional neutrals down here and I just love both of these these palettes are just great I love the makeup revolution formula and I just love them, they're so fantastic. I have quite a few Makeup Revolution palettes. I have uh, the Ultimate Colour Chaos palette, which I do, I do. I'm starting to really, really adore that. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now. And um, I have Give Them Nightmares, and I have another one that I can't remember. But yeah, these are definitely my favourite palettes and must haves. Another little eyeshadow palette that I have to mention my NYX Sex Bomb palette. It's so good. I've really started enjoying using just the red shadow by itself. It's so pigmented. And I, I kind of like the look when you have just a single colour, especially red, and then a really bold, gothy sort of wing. I like that. And at a pinch, when you're travelling, this shade here, this sort of taupey shade, is a great contour colour for me. So I've been using that to contour with as well. Um, and this is just a really great travel palette because you can do so many different looks with just this tiny little palette. So yeah, great, great, great. Uh, another favorite, I couldn't choose between these two. I've got my Anastasia Brow uh, Definer Pencil Crayon thing, which I did, but I bought in Florida, but I have used it so many times and I much prefer it to the Brow Wiz. Much, much prefer it to the Brow Wiz. I mean, maybe it's because I went with a different color. I went with dark brown. Um, this time, and I can't remember which one I went with last time, but I think it might have been brunette or something like that. It was just too warm, whereas this is the perfect shade. The other favourite, and this is, I've been using this all year, is my Gosh Eyebrow Pencil. Again, I think I have the shade Dark Brown, yeah, Dark Brown. And it comes with a spoolie and then a pencil, and I just really like it. It's great, and it's blendable, and it's pigmented, so I love these two brow products. They're definitely 2017 favourite. This, th you know that I'm going to mention this in my favourites because I pretty much use it every time I put makeup on. I've gone through about two of these this year. It's my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I like her ink liner and I like the NYX Epic Ink Liner but this is my absolute favourite of all time eyeliner. I just, I just love it. It's black, super black, super pigmented. It dries down, it does not budge off me eyes. It's just such a super, super product. So this is definitely, I don't think this is a favorite of 2017. I think this is a Hannah Smaugish favorite of all time. I should just say that Kat Von D is my favorite of 2017, really, shouldn't I? Uh, because this is another Kat Von D product and not specifically this color, although this is probably the color I've worn the most recently. Her 
Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks are probably my product of 2017. Liquid lipsticks in general are probably my product of 2017. I also love a normal stick lipstick, like her Studded Kiss lipsticks I love, I have quite a few of those, but liquid lipsticks, specifically the Everlasting Liquids, are absolutely my favourites. I love the NYX Liquid Suede, I love the NYX Lip Lingeries, I've got one from Primark which is pretty good, I got picked up one from the Sephora Colour Collection which is great, but I think my favourite's going to be the Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. Um, and I have a pretty good collection of these now, um, but yeah, this shade is Vampira which is gorgeous and I love it when I'm doing like a really monochrome black up top look and a really, really harsh extreme contour. This just on my lips, and I feel really like 80s trad cloth, really badass, so yeah. Everlasting liquid lipsticks, love. My final makeup favorite of 2017, and again, this is a re relatively new one, but it's become my favorite black traditional lipstick of all time, and it is my Manic Panic Matte Velvet in Nosferatu. It is just beautiful. First off, I love the packaging. I love it. Uh, ever since I was a little tiny little gothling, I've coveted and always wanted Manic Panic. It's what you did, but when I was little, I could only afford Stargazer, and then I started getting other products. But now I'm gonna invest in some more Manic Panic in the next year because this product is just gorgeous. It's like velvety is the only way I can describe it. I can't put it any other way. You put it on your lips, and it is dark. It's opaque doesn't take you know more than one swipe one swipe and it's opaque but it feels so comfortable and the only way I can describe how it feels on your lips is velvety it feels like velvet I, it's weird but amazing so yes we are on to non beauty related things and the first thing this is a bit weird but this symbolizes it it's spooky box club I think I've got spooky box club box pretty much every single month this year and I absolutely love it. I'm so glad I started to sub um, to Spooky Box Club because I love it. I absolutely love it. Everything, I get excited. It's one of my favorite days of the year when I come home and I open, I can find that I've got a package and it's a Spooky Box Club box. I just love it. So Spooky Box Club is one of my 2017 favourite. Trying to remember what else I brought over. This one is going to come as no surprise because when I finished reading it, I couldn't stop going on about it for just days and weeks and forever and it's Heart Shape Box by Joe Hill. This is the best thing I've read this year and I've read, I've actually managed to read quite a few books this year which I'm proud of and I'm setting goals to read more next year but this is just one of the best books I've ever read, let alone read this year. Um, I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend it. If you like horror, if you like thrillers, anything like that, please read this book. It is so good. I literally could not put it down. I could. I started reading it, and I finished it in pretty much the same day because it was just, it was just riveting. I, I could not put it down. I needed to know what happened next, um, which is a remarkably good book in my opinion. So yeah. Okay, this will come as no surprise to you if you know me, but my favourite band of 2017, and I think possibly they're now one of my favourite bands of all time, is Ghost. I love Ghost. I finally saw them at Bloodstock this year, and I cried, and I thought it was going to die. Um, they're just my absolute favourite band, and they're definitely one of my favourite things of 2017. And... I actually grabbed this EP, this is their Popestar EP, because my favourite song, even though it wasn't released in 2017, my favourite song of 2017, I haven't been able to stop listening to it, is Square Hammer. So, Ghost and Square Hammer are my band and song of 2017. Bit random, but my film of 2017, now this is a really hard choice because I've seen some really good films this year, obviously there was Thor Ragnarok, The Last Jedi, um, so many things that I, I really enjoyed this year, Wonder Woman, but my favourite film was Guardians of the Galaxy 2. We're the Guardians of the Galaxy! Ain't no thing like me, except me! Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 was my film of 2017, it was my favourite film. I just, I just, I love Guardians of the Galaxy, I don't know what it is, I know they're a bit, but if you're into the Marvel Cinematic Universe or anything, kind of on the periphery and a lot of people don't like them but I love it and I just think it's fun and I think it's injected something into it and it's made the whole 
Marvel Cinematic Universe a bit new because they've all tried to get a bit of that feeling in them which isn't a bad thing and I think Thor Ragnarok was clearly influenced by Guardians of the Galaxy 2 and it, it was all the better for it so yeah Guardians of the Galaxy 2 was my favourite film of 2017 um, so yeah, I think that's all of my favourite things of 2017. Um, I'm not going to say too much about the year as a whole because I'm going to do, when I talk about my plans for 2018, I'm going to kind of do a retrospective how was the year, but it wasn't a terrible year. Um, the last part of the year absolutely sucked donkey balls. Like, it, <sighs> the first part of the year was great up until summer. And then I was absolutely kicked in the stomach when my ex broke up with me and I found that really hard to deal with and move on and I had a lot of other issues as well, it wasn't just that, um, but you know, a lot of other things happened and I found this last part of the year really difficult. So for the first time in my life I'm actually quite looking forward to the new year because I'm looking forward to trying to put that all past me. And I've got some exciting things coming up and exciting possibilities. But I will talk more about that in my next video about my plans for the new year. So, I hope you had an amazing 2017. Let me know down below in the comments what was your favourite thing of 2017. Was it makeup? Was it a book? What did you like especially about this year? And I will see you in my next video when I talk all about new year. I hope you've had a brilliant Christmas. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.